what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate, what we're trying to do is we're trying to add the two equations together to eliminate either the x uh, variable or the y variables, okay, so we can get it down to a one equation with one variable. So you can see if we try to add these together, nothing cancels out. The x's don't cancel, the y's don't cancel. So what we're going to do is let's multiply this top equation times 4, because that'll give us a negative 4y plus this 4y. They're going to cancel one another out. So we're going to multiply everything in the equation by 4. So that gives you 20x minus 4y equals 28. And then this equation, we're just going to bring over x plus 4y equals 14. Okay, if we add them together, you can see the y's are canceling. So that gives you 21x equals 42, which means that x equals 2. If you put 2 back in, you can put it in for this equation or this equation, and you can solve for y. So I'll just put it into uh, this top equation. So that's 5 times 2 minus y equals 7. So that's 10 minus y equals 7. Subtract 10. So you can see y equals 3. So our final result is 2 comma 3. And you can double check your work. You just have to put 2 and 3 back into both equations. Make sure that they are both uh, true and satisfied. So that's uh, our first example. Okay, let's look at another example here. Here we've got x plus 2y equals 6. Negative 3x minus 6y equals 4. Here what we'll do is we're going to multiply the top equation times positive 3. Okay, so that we can eliminate the x's. So if we do that, we get 3x plus 6y equals 18. And then this one we're just going to carry over. Negative 3x minus 6y equals 4. And when we add, the x's cancel, the y's cancel, we end up getting 0 equals 22. Now what does that mean, 0 equals 22? That's, an, that's a nonsense, right? That's a nonsensical answer. It doesn't make any sense. And what that actually tells us is that these two lines are parallel. So if you were to graph them, they would be like this. They don't cross. So this one, there's no solution. So empty set, no solution, or you can just write no solution. Okay, this next one over here, let's uh, eliminate the y's. We're going to multiply the top equation times 2. So if we do that, we're going to get 4x minus 2y equals 10. So if we combine the top equation with the bottom equation, you can see the x's cancel, the y's cancel, and even these numbers on the right side of the equation cancel, so we're getting 0 equals 0. What that tells us is that these lines are the exact same line. So if you were to graph them, one line would be like this, the other line would be right on top of that line, and they're crossing at an infinite number of points. So this one is, you know, infinite number of solutions, or you could say consistent dependent. So consistent dependent. This one over here was inconsistent. Okay, and then these other ones that we're working on, this is uh, consistent, independent. Okay, so this one here is a little different example. Here we're going to have to multiply that, both equations so that we can eliminate one of the variables. So let's just say we want to eliminate the, the x's. What does 2 and what does 5, what do they both go into evenly? 10, that's the lowest common multiple. But let's make one of them negative 10 and one positive 10. So we're going to multiply this top equation times 5 the bottom equation times negative 2. Okay, so if we do that, we get 10x plus 15y equals negative 5. In the bottom equation, we get negative 10x minus 8y equals negative 2. If we add those together, the x's cancel. We get 7y equals, just checking my math real quick, make sure I didn't make any mistakes, so that's negative 7, and y equals 1 negative 1. Okay, so now we know what y equals. If we put it back into this equation or this equation, we'll get the same answer. Let's just put it into the top equation. So that's going to give us 2x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Add the 3 to the other side, we get 2. And divide by 2, x equals 1. So our solution is 1 comma negative 1. And that's where these two lines are going to intersect.